well, as you're driving out the pier, which is the way most people see it, on the, on the left-hand side or the east side, um, that's primarily the commercial fishing area. Now that, that north dock, the, the first floating dock you would come to, where, where the kids' swimming hole is, um, that's where we want to expand the idea of a charter boat row. And our, our goal here is to expand economic opportunities for our tenants and our businesses, but also the economy of the town. I mean, we know that when the guys go on a fishing charter, the ladies go shopping. And uh, that's a pretty cool thing for us to be able to attract people up here because we are actually closest to the fishing grounds for the charter fleet. The continuing on out, uh, again on the left hand side and, and pretty much right here behind the, the office is the, the dragger fleet. Now, these bigger boats, they take bigger crew, still can only bring in the same amount of catch that the smaller boats do. And so we know that that type of boat is declining. On the other hand, we're seeing that the smaller fishing boats are increasing. These guys are turning over their equipment so that they can get out faster, use less crew, be able to change over depending on what species is in play at the time. Commercial fishing fleet is all that left-hand side or that east side of the pier. On the west side of the pier is an equally important section. That's where the excursion vessels are. Clearly, the whale watch business is the anchor to all of that. But the schooners that go out sailing, the head boat like the CJ that'll take 30 or 40 people out fishing in the harbor, the water taxis, the other types of charters that operate from the west side or the right hand side of the pier, those are important as well because it is that it's that accommodation of our tourists to be able to give them things to do, give them access to the waters, and educate them about what life in Provincetown is like. Not only is that an important part of how we make money to pay the bills, but also how the businesses on Commercial Street pay their bills as well.